I have mentioned it already several times and I still think it's worth repeating. People with asthma are often tired. As asthma severity increases, so does the risk of obstructive sleep apnea. I was always intrigued by this over the years because there's quite a number of papers showing that the connection exists. How could obstructive sleep apnea, which is a condition of the upper airways, how can that be made worse when our asthma gets worse because asthma is a condition of our lower airways? The truth is that the upper and the lower airways, it's one airway, they are linked. So whatever happens in your lungs can travel up to your nose and whatever happens in your nose can travel down to your lungs. And it's for this reason that people with asthma and breathing problems very often have a stuffy nose. And when you have a stuffy nose, you are two to three times more likely to have sleep issues. And this is why people with asthma are often tired. Their breathing characteristic of asthma can be a faster respiratory rate, an increased minute ventilation. In other words, the volume of air breathed in to the lungs in one minute is higher than what it should be. It's higher than normal. Increased tidal volume. In other words, you're breathing harder, more fuller breaths, breathing using the upper chest, having irregular breathing patterns, and also this can be indicative of having a low control pause. So that's the breathing pattern of asthma. And as asthma severity increases, that breathing pattern also deteriorates. Breathing gets faster, harder, upper chest breathing, mouth breathing, etc. So this breathing pattern is going to influence how we breathe during sleep. So the good news is by practicing breathe light, breathe slow, breathe low, keeping the mouth closed during the day, during rest, during physical exercise, and also during sleep by wearing tape if you have to and a tape that we use is myo tape because it's a safe and effective tape but it doesn't cover your lips it helps to bring your lips together and that helps to ensure nasal breathing and of course your tongue should be resting in the roof of the mouth so by practicing these techniques you help your asthma but you also help your sleep and the connection is always there so this should give you added impetus to be practicing the Buteco method to bring it into your way of life. And initially, it is important to do an hour per day. I know 60 minutes sounds a lot. 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the afternoon, 20 minutes in the evening, but it's transformative and it will significantly improve your asthma control and also with your doctor, reduce your need for medication. So it's really worth doing and you'll get so many benefits from it.